there's a beautiful story of a, a student of knowledge. He was extremely hungry at once. So he went out there to search for food. He could not find any food. He asked people. People did not give him any food, unfortunately. So he went into a farm and he grabbed an apple and he ate an apple. And then he regretted his action. He was saddened about what he has done. So he asked people, who owns this farm? So they've told him there's a person that lives in that specific area. So he went to him. He said, please forgive me. I have eaten an apple from your farm. Please forgive me. He said, I will not forgive you. And I will be your opposition, opposition the day of judgment in front of Allah. He said, it was only an apple. Please forgive me. He said, I will not forgive you. And he walked back inside the house. So this young man waits outside the house. He waits from after door until before Asr. And this man comes out. He said, I beg you to forgive me. He said, I'm willing to become a laborer. I am willing to work for you. Just forgive me for that apple. He said, okay, I'll forgive you on one condition. He said, what is it? He said that you marry my daughter. And he was overwhelmed. He was very happy. He said, but she has few problems. She's deaf, dumb, blind, and disabled. He said, what? He said, I will never forgive you until you marry her. He said, I will never forgive you until you marry her. And they have set a certain date for this young man to come. So he came dragging his legs along because he's saddened. He's upset that he's going to marry someone that he's going to be looking after for the rest of his life. So he walks inside the house. He sees a beautiful girl. And she, she comes up to him. And he's just astonished. He's, he's amazed. He's surprised. And he's looking at her. Dumbfounded. Flabbergasted. Subhanallah al -Azim. And she said to him, she said, Are you surprised? He said, Yes. He said, your father has said that you're blind, deaf, dumb, and disabled. She said to him, my father has been looking for a spouse for me for a long time. He's been looking for a husband for me for a long time. And when he saw that you're fearful of Allah because of the apple that you've eaten, he knew that you are the right person for me. And she said to him, yes, I am blind from looking at haram. And I am deaf from hearing haram and I'm done from speaking ill haram and I'm disabled to walk to haram I am disabled to walk to haram subhanallah and guess what they were married and guess who their son was their son is one of the greatest his name is Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi alayhi.